Hi guys, today's video is going to be a sort of a trial run and a product review of um, Revlon Photo Ready Compact Makeup Foundation. Um, I know what you're thinking, wow, that doesn't match you. Um, yeah, so that's what we thought. Um, this is actually a foundation that my mom bought and she bought it thinking that it was her color because she looks this color and then when she tried it does not match her it looked like it was really funny we actually were on skype and it was in the morning i woke up and she's like you have to go on skype with me so i go on skype and it looks like oh it looked horrible it looked like she was a ghost it was really really funny actually um so she's like wait till you come home try this i want you to see what it does so i'm like all right so she's trying to explain this thing to me it says it has a liquefying screen some of the weirdest shit I've ever seen in packaging I'm gonna be straight honest with you um, it comes with the sponge that we've used and well that's gonna go get thrown away um, so this is what the product looks like it has this weird screen and when you press on it is when you get your product um, it's really quite weird so you basically you take the sponge and you go like that and you get your product Anywho, so I actually tried it for a day and it wasn't horrible and it doesn't match me like perfectly but it's surprisingly not all that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and show you. Um, you can see that it's, it's a little bit more yellowy than my skin tone but for the most part that kind of matches me and it really doesn't look like it would it would um, so I think my biggest thing with this is the color is way wrong or is advertised way wrong because I would never look at this and be like that matches me and then my mom bought it thinking that it matched someone much darker than her and it doesn't um, overall the foundation is like a cream to powder or cream set I would I would say um, foundation and you do want a sponge to apply it um, it goes on okay but the thing is is I have really 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 dry skin and you want to for sure like if you have dry skin like me you definitely want to moisturize before you put this on because it will emphasize any sort of dry areas that you may have on your face um, so be sure to moisturize ahead of time um, another thing too it feels like you would go through the product fairly quickly um, it don't it doesn't spread like the greatest in the world um, but it seems like you're constantly pressing on this weird screen thing to get product out um, yeah so I don't know how long it would really last to be honest um yeah so over i don't know like i don't i think it's sort of like i have good skin so it's hard to say what the coverage is really like and i never wear a foundation so i'm really a bad person to be reviewing foundation um but it covers fairly well like i get red through here and you can't really see that um it does have a bit of a shine to it I'm pretty sure you can see that um, there is like very very fine fine like micro shimmer in it um, nothing that's super noticeable but the camera picks it up because I have a big light right there it looks really really shiny but it's not it's not that shiny in real life I assure you um yeah overall would I wear this again, um, or would I buy it? No, but will I wear it if I have it? Yes. Um, do I recommend it? Probably for those with normal skin, but just be warned that, like, it's, it's not that bad. Like, I did wear it out once, and it settled fine. Um, it lasted, I don't know, like, six hours, which isn't bad for foundation. Like, I don't know. It isn't the greatest for foundation, but... At the same time, it's like, eh, if you're going out for a night, why the hell not? I don't know. Um, it's not really a long-lasting foundation, really, but I don't know. It's not terrible. Um, because I didn't pay for this, is it worth the money? Probably not. 
I say if you're looking for something different and you have the money to spend, try this out. But be, be warned that the color looks really different than <laughs> what it is. And I think there's only like four colors. There's only four colors at, whoops, at my Walmart that my mom said. Um, yeah. But anyway, so overall, this isn't horrible. I, I would set it with something if you didn't want it to be so shiny. But it, it feels good on the skin. Like, you can't feel it. It doesn't feel like you have foundation on. Um, it's just it settles into my like dry areas really really bad and makes me look flaky but I think if you have normal skin maybe try it out um maybe oily would be too oily yeah anyway that's kind of how I feel about this um oh wait hold on let's read the back shall we it says cream makeup instantly liquefies for complete coverage and superior blendability lightweight powder finish um perfected airbrush skin in any light um it's lightweight, for sure. You don't feel it on your skin. Um, I wouldn't say it's complete coverage. It's obviously, it's light. It's a light coverage. And then, it does blend out fairly well, so. Yeah, it's pretty pretty close to claim. Um, yeah, that's kind of my review. Really shitty review, I'm sorry. But, would I recommend it? Eh, try it if you're looking for something new. Um, just be sure, like, this is the light, this, I, I'm pale, guys, you guys know how pale I am, and this is 100 vanilla, um, so if you're any darker than me, definitely choose a darker one, um, if you're pale like me, maybe try this, I don't know, yeah, so that's kind of how I feel about it, if you guys want me to review more shit, actually, no, I'm probably not going to review more foundation, because unless my mom buys shit that magically matches me, then I'm not going to uh, review this again, review any more foundation. I hate foundation. Um, yeah, until my next video, I guess I'll talk to all you guys soon. And I'm going to go wash this off because I don't wear foundation ever. And it freaks me out. Um, yeah, bye.